Hello everyone, Jeff here. So today I'm going to teach you how to protect your fish from alien invasion. I mean, it happens all the time. You hear about it on the news. Fish are getting abducted by aliens. Their insides get turned inside out from creatures from the red planet, those Martians. So what you need to do is get some tin foil and wrap up your aquarium and that keeps the aliens away because they do the same thing with us humans that's why you have to wear tin foil hats that way they keeps the aliens away from your brain that way they can't see into your head and into your brain and control your mind but yeah so I just treated this tank with levamisole um, that's a medication that is supposed to be used to eradicate camelanus worms and recently I diagnosed this tank um, I had some fish die recently that I suspect is due to camelanus worms and in my recent videos I I showed some of the fish that appear to have camelanus worms, little red um, thread-like worm things sticking out of their anuses. So when treating them, um, the levamisole is light sensitive, so that is the actual reason why this is covered in tin foil. Um, I looked up other, did a little bit of research on treating camelanus worms with levamisole and I saw somebody else wrap their tank up with tin foil like this. So I figured I'd do the same thing. I mean, I could have just covered it with a towel, but, um, this with tin foil, not only does it block the light, but it keeps my cats away because actually cats kind of freak out from tinfoil sound. So, you know, my cats will often jump up onto this tank and look in so I don't want them interfering. So, yeah, so this is blocking the light. It's blocking the light, it's keeping my cats away, and it's keeping the aliens away. So hopefully... Um, this levamisole treatment will help. We'll see if, you know, from what I know, I just, you know, I put, I put the levamisole in this tank and it's supposed to keep it, it's supposed to be about 24 hours, so it's going to be blocked from the light and a day from now, I'll check it in. I guess I would expect to find that the worms are would be getting pooped out, so you'd ha I'd have to do a a gravel vac and do a you know at least a fifty percent water change. See how that goes. So I got levamisole from Select Aquatics, and it's kind of, you know, I probably dosed a little more because it's supposed to be a quarter teaspoon of it for a hundred gallons. And it's suggested to divide that quarter teaspoon into 10, into tenths, 10 parts, which is, you know, without a gram scale or it's kind of difficult. And not only that, but this is actually a five and a half gallon. So it's kind of like taking that it's kind of like a, a one twentieth of a teaspoon. So, and even, you know, I, I probably put in, you know, a 10th of it, give or take, you know, I don't even know. And even that is a really tiny amount. So, but I guess I did read on the select aquatic website that, you know, dosing a little bit over should be okay. 
So we'll see what happens here. It's the first time I'm using Lubamisol and hopefully that's a, you know that's gonna you know fix the problem and get rid of these camelanus worms. This will be like the first time doing it. Do a water change after 24 hours and then um, I think it was maybe in a couple weeks later, do it all over again. And can, I guess continue doing that until it's, you know, all gone. How do you know? I can even tell if it's all gone. I'm not sure, but we're going to try it. All right. Well, let's hope that works. And in case you didn't already know, I'm Jeff and I enjoy fishies and I enjoy kitties. Thanks for watching.